Geraldo is kind of a muckraker journalist who every once in a while will go after the serious issues. And he's doing that today. He's got Pedro in the darkness. And he's interviewing him. And Pedro says, well, we knew he's from South America. We knew the coup was underway because the government's uh, phones, the military, the police, the journalists' phones were all shut down by AT&T. And yet, uh, they placed a one in office. He's now El Presidente, but we know it, the real El Presidente is uh, Randall Stevenson of AT&T. Oh, you found out the darndest thing, just uh, listening. See vapor trail at dusk? Be on the side of those driving the tanks, the jeeps, the jets, the side of children, truth, and Jesus. The opposite side of AT&T. Not one 9-11 Flight 93 check of America's lifelines and over a decade of asking that you call that number and actually reach me. No certified mail, no non-certified mail either. About the 93 checks or any of my imagery. Make that video, post that video, whatever you get when you don't get me. And yes, mail those uh, GPS things. If it's got my address on it, it's going to be stolen by those with bloody hands from hijacking America's lifelines. So, yeah, use those GPS things, phones, laptops, whatever has got one, and find out where America's stolen mail warehouses are. Be the reporter for the military pit bull project for Jesus AT&T's hatred military style harassment technique next door and yeah AT&T active part in America's hijacked lifelines bought spectrum to harass me a man in a wheelchair hear their hatred and tell all veterans out there all disabled veterans you can be a soldier in your home. You can protect America from your home. Make that video. You calling up Mormons, Muslims, AT&T executives, and yes, generals, colonels. Find out what side of defending America they're really on. Call them up and uh, try to call me with them on speakerphone. And yeah, you don't want to be nice about it. You get that rage going. Even from the general, of course, from the Mormons and the Muslims on American soil, threatening our security as a nation. You get that anger going, you're going to find out what they are doing that threatens our homeland security. So be that soldier from your home. And remember to hand off that watch call list to every other American. You can get to call them. Let them know we're watching. Oh, I've seen them constantly. In and out of AT&T, in and out of the hatred department down below me, they're a very active part in America's so hijack lifeline. Not 193 check in a decade of asking, guys. Make that video, post that video, right now, and yeah, wounded, disabled veterans, protect America from the threat from within. Just told by someone in the parking lot or someone in, there's a lot of windows here, in the apartment complex here that uh, it's not him, he's been in a private home for weeks that's a quote and 
I believe it's like a Fedster or a military type requesting special treat. Give it to them. 911 flight 93 checking post and pie. Put the numbers of all kinds of Fedsters and military generals, colonels, AT&T executives. Try to call me with them on speakerphone. 424-229-4140. Tell them you can AT&T phone records you can play at all you want. America has your phone gate on video. So the general is talking to the local police chief about his son or daughter again. Yeah, oh, he's not getting in trouble or she's not getting in trouble. With treason like the general, active part in America's high tech lifelines, it, they're just common thieves, but yeah, enough is enough. Police chief says, I would have let you slide another time because of who you are, general. But uh, yeah, you're harassing a man in a wheelchair through ATT by spectrum, and I can't have that. Who knows when someone's going to show up and make a video of me letting your family go because you're harassing a man in a wheelchair makes for a good story doesn't it one involved in America's hijack life on that trees in this activity are they planning an invasion by some foreign power or are they planning a revolution it happens all the time in all over north and those he's trained South America doesn't it The general has gone to Randall Stevenson, Dallas, Texas there. And he says, is there anything I should know about that your company is involved in, maybe with other generals, that might be in the parking lot or talked about in the parking lot that that uh, Santa Carter and Mary that Randall hates in the wheelchair? He hates truth. He hates Santa Carter and Mary in the wheelchair with his truth. Anything I should know about? And he has the general tells him that, asks him that, and Randall's flat out on the floor. So the general and traitor Colonel South are leaning up against a pallet of stolen mail. And the general says, if I get one more call about that son of a bitch, oh, he always gets that wrong. I'm Melton, son of a carpenter Mary. And uh, he goes on. South, I thought you were doing something about that. And South says, well, I, I am. I'm moving folks on a big merry-go-round from Utah to L.A. to just under the man to harass him. Well, you're not doing a very good job because he's making all kinds of good videos. You know, maybe we should just roll out the military red carpet and help him get started building Jesus as a Maglet House and... They just put a damn message. CBS just mailed a damn thing to cover up the damn counter. Do you know how fucking pathetic that is? If they prefer to take America's lifelines, 424-229-4140. Whatever boring thing you get when you don't get me, Melton, John Melton Brady. Not going to be boring if you need to fire me and place paramedics. It's money out of your pocket every day. So see that paper trail? 911, flight 93, check and post and pop. Timestamp on your phone, number dialed, and don't forget to call up ATT's, Randall Stevens, and the other executives as well as generals and colonels. They don't know about 911, flight 93 checks after I've been asking for over a decade with a whole lot of graphic art, a whole lot of uh, videos. They're involved, they're incompetent. We, either way, we need uh, new folks in those boots and those suits. Get them a little angry. See if they'll tell you what else, aside from being treasonous with hijacking of lifelines and stealing a mail. What else they're involved in? Post. Remember to uh, park those noisemakers outside of every AT&T employees. This is those lower levels who know all about the dirty little secrets of the upper level.
And let me give you a parable. It's a press conference. The general's there. So's Trump, and the general's phone rings, and he turned it off. But well, he answers anyway. The military pit bull project is uh, handing out his number. And he quickly hangs up real quick, but everyone at the press conference knows exactly what is happening. The general is being pointed out as a traitor. I don't know if that double whirly or another is going to land and pick him up just then, but uh, look for it. Here at and ts harassment techniques. Make a parable about them. The general has gone to Dallas to talk to Ram Stevenson, CEO, and he asked him what other than America's hijack lifelines, what other trees might you be involved in that melt? Stone Cold Melt, South Park from here. Might know about because you're talking about it in your parking lot, you're showing him stuff left and right. And Randall faints first, and they revive him, and he says, well, we got that Senator Representative Politician Surveillance Program to only know the uh, Internet and cable boxes, and we got that, uh, that guy doing the, he goes to L.A. a lot, doing the uh, Traitor North thing currently in South America. Here is Siren, 9-11 Flight 93, check in post in 5 for America's security. Make a video of your call to generals and colonels. Put the numbers on the backs of those spies there as well as AT&T spies. All Mormons. Call them up. Make that video of America's hijack lifelines and ask the general and if you get on yet you might Know why? Ask the generals why your family's lifeline is hijacked as you try to call me Melton for the past decade with a 911 Flight 93 check. What happens to my mail? Can you tell me that, General? And if the General says, yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to post the last parable for the fifth time. We'll see if it goes. Yet. Here is Siren. 9-11 flight 93 checking post in 5 you're trying to call me Melton and you're making a video of America's hijack lifelines not one 93 check call in a decade with a whole lot of graphic card asking America to check their lifeline make that video time on your phone number dial And yes, AT&T is worried enough about their part in hijacking America's lifelines to alter phone records to cover up their crimes. So yeah, put them on speakerphone, all those folks, and try to call me. Ask him what else they're involved in besides hijacking America's lifelines. And yes, mail me anything with a GPS and use that to find out where America's stolen mill warehouses are. Those with bloody hands hijacking your call to me right now also steal mill. So, uh, yeah, do that Geraldo thing. He's not doing his job. And locate those stolen mill warehouses and, of course, get it on video. Be the reporter. So the sergeant is showing the police commissioner the video of the general in town. And the general is walking down the street and he sees a man in a wheelchair. And he's been getting a lot of calls about America's hijack lifelines and his part in it. And he's just overcome with anger. Him with the impersonator industry says, well, Overcome with anger, he runs up to that uh, man in that wheelchair. He picks up that wheelchair, throws it on the side, throws the man into the street there. And the other police commissioner says, well, we can't have that. Especially, he'll wait until he see what he does next. And he walk, you know, 
General goes down the street. There's a, a, a child in a baby carriage. I'm Melton. Make a video. That's your family's lifeline. The general was threatening. A teacher from West Point or is it Annapolis? One of those has gone to visit one of his generals and he's wearing a wire. Maybe just a phone with an audio maker, a video maker going. He knows he has not listened to a word he taught him. So he documents his part in America's Hijack Lifeline. And so does a uh, couple of privates who swore to protect America. Same place. They have assembled a list of generals, relatives, all AT&T executives, and the Immaculate Network with one hit of a button gets it worldwide. Away from your desk here for a, a minute to get a cookie and the military style harassment with AT&T picks up with both my uh, camera and phone that I use in here. So that lets me remind everyone oh yesterday I saw heard what they're telling folks the uh, someone in that parking lot said he's been in a private home Melton has been in a private home for weeks it's okay just make that terrorist noise of yours so call up generals like there's no tomorrow Weed out the traitors, the ones most likely to revolt. Seriously. Oh, that's much lighter. Shouldn't be there at all. Remember to uh, put AT&T's numbers on the backs of those fives of theirs. And you call them up 24-7. Same for the generals and colonels. They don't know what a 911 flight 93 check is. You educate them. You try to call me with them on speakerphone. You got the timestamp on your phone. You got the number dialed. You tell them you can AT&T phone records all you want. We've got your phone gate. Your threat to our security on video. And yeah, be annoying. That way you'll find out. If you get them angry, what they're planning and what they're doing, other than harassing a man in a wheelchair in Eagle Rock. What's that sound? That's the sound of AT&T. A backing out of. The phone monopoly and the threat to American security business. See that vapor trail in the sunset? Be on the side of those driving the tanks, the jeeps, the jets, the side of children and truth. Make that video of your hijack call to me. No. And post. Said so Trump is in the Oval Office. He's thumbing through the National Enquirer. He heard there was a photo of him in it. And all of a sudden the general runs into the office. He says, I don't have time to talk. Can you hold this for me? And he hands Trump a phone and a bag and runs out. Right after him, Geraldo. TV crew in tow comes running in there. Yeah, he had mailed me a phone. Not one ninety three taken over a decade of asking. 
no ain't certified, no non certified, no FedEx, no UPS. And all that time as well. He'd mailed me a phone and the general didn't want to keep it, uh, so he gave it to Trump. So, uh, Stan. Oh, here the devil or his hate. 9-11, flight 93, check in, post in 5. Make a video of your hijack call to me. AT&T's desperate folks worried enough about that for over a decade to alter phone records to cover it up. Anyway, get it on video, phone gate. Call all employees and do that. 24-7. Find out what else they're doing to threaten our security as a nation and as families. Now, uh, as Stan says to Jake, that warehouse across the way, it sure does get, have a lot of trouble with its phones. Uh, yeah, AT&T, a truck's parked outside. I don't think I've seen one AT&T truck in there. They bought a Spectrum to harass a man in a wheelchair or a rider truck every once in a while. They uh, cover up the dirty doings by not using uh, AT&T or even Spectrum's truck. They have a writer truck in there, carting off all those uh, paper documents, perhaps, or other stuff that will have uh, incriminating stuff on it. But let me get back to the parable real quick. As Stan says, yeah, they sure do have a lot of. Uh, trouble with those phones and uh, it must be a military warehouse because yeah the military truck shows up every once in a while but yeah the uh, AT&T sometimes has to you know transport the uh, stolen mail they hate that so they get rid of it quick. They get their hands bloody with uh, hijacking lifelines. Very seriously, guys. Make that video if you hijack call to me right now. 424-229-4140. Then uh, tell everyone. Try to call Melton with them on speakerphone. All AT&T officials. All generals. All colonels. They don't know about me and my 93 check imagery, my Trump's phone gate, my Hussein's phone gate. Over the past uh, decade and not getting one 911 flight 93 check, they're involved or they're incompetent. You get them on video doing that. Try to call me, them on speakerphone. Tell them we need new folks in those boots and those suits. And you can alter phone records all you want. You can steal mail all you want. We got your phone gate on video. And yeah, I wouldn't mess up a parable. Though. The uh, Steel Hill folks also frequent the the warehouse across the street from Stan. Yeah, d destroying of mail that's been stolen. That's why I tell everyone make that video of your hijack call to me, of course, and those of you who can, whatever has a GPS with it. Send it to me. It's going to be stolen if it's got my address on it. So you uh, use that GPS to find out where America's stolen mail warehouses are. Bet you find a whole lot of uh, mailers from unsuccessful political campaigns. All kinds of stuff waiting to be found in those warehouses. Do the job reporters aren't doing. And I bet we find a few of them in Utah. So, uh, someone has FedExed me a phone because they know I'm a handsome ball guy. Target of AT&T's harassment. And that means, yeah. Uh, they just tried to break this computer so it isn't connected to the internet and also tried to... Uh, all have broken the computer in the living room that I used to upload my stuff. I have to do it with my laptop now. And uh, Lonnie, 
he's uh, looking real close at stuff and he says no 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 it's not on it doesn't have the audio maker of course not well, gate sent it to you and then the two of them start talking about uh, which generals are the most treasonous and naming names where they're at Nikon photos and uh, there's not much photos there but yeah, here's a Nikon Remember to CP5 with AT&T. All of them on speakerphone, all employees. Generals as well. You trying to call me? You want to know why America's lifelines are being hijacked? You explain to them. You've got a video of timestamp on your phone and the number dial. They can alter phone records all they want. We've got the, their phone gate on video. And yeah, a decade of altering videos. Um, not altering videos, altering phone records. Now, one 911 flight 93 check in that decade I have been asking. Make a video phone gate. Right now. Time on your phone, number dialed, and remember to call up AT&T employees, all of them. They'll tell you what the folks at the top are involved in of AT&T. Besides compromising our security with America's hijacked lifelines, security as a nation, security as uh, families, they'll tell you, just keep calling them and try to call me with them on speakerphone and ask them, why do you hate? I want to tell Melton all about what I think about his imagery. And I can't do that. Why do you hate AT&T? Yeah, they park a fleet out there to show me that hatred of theirs. It's a closed parking lot. There we go. So don't uh, be afraid to get them a little angry, AT&T employees. They love noise. You'll get out of them what they're doing besides just hijacking lifelines. Here's that siren, 911 flight 93 checking post of five. You trying to call me, Melton? And you want to know why America's lifelines are being hijacked when you do? Put all AT&T employees on the backs of this five here, and it's also with the white background. And yeah, generals too. Try and call me up. Get the time on your phone. Get the number dialed. It's both of our AT&T livelihoods. Whatever boring thing you get when you don't get me. Oh, it needs to be brighter. It wasn't that way when I designed it. Whatever you get when you don't get me, I'm not going to be born if you need the firemen, the police, and the paramedics. Money out of your pocket every day when you're calling up countless other customers and get that phone ringing. That error message, that busy signal, you leave a message, but they don't get it just like I don't get your message. Whatever you get when you don't get me, it's not going to be born, so make that video with all AT&T employees on speakerphone and, uh, yeah. Tell them you can AT&T phone records all you want. We've got your phone gate on video. Time on your phone. Date. Number dial. You got phone gate. Oh, it's a little dark over here but you get the point I got them with two different uh, colors so whatever you're looking to print out and hand out you know look down here and make sure I'm usually going with the green for the uh, generals and white for AT&T and you call up all those generals and colonels and mail me stuff with GPS oh I'm not gonna get it if you put my address on it it's gonna be stolen mail me stuff and 
use that GPS to find out where America's stolen mail warehouses are. Get it on video. See a police car? Try to call me, make a video of your family's hijack lifeline. You got the time on your phone, you got the number dial. Not one, not eleven plate, not three check, call. Not about my imagery either. And over a decade of asking. Make that video. You got the time and date in your video. You got my number dialed. You put the numbers of all et and employees on the backs of their fives. Generals as well, because not one bit of mail about those 93 checks in that decade either. And you tell those at and employees and generals and colonels, yeah, you can at and you can alter phone records all you want. America has your phone gate on video. Remember those phones with a GPS? Watch them get stolen and locate those stolen mail warehouses as well. Paper trail. Tell all of America to mobilize against the threat to our national security that is California's law enforcement. How do you determine which of those folks? Dishonoring their badge is a traitor and which are not simple. I've been asking for a 911 flight 93 check for over a decade. I have yet to get one. If California law enforcement to a man to a woman does not know about that, they are traitors. They are incompetent if not traders, and I think they're very competent. Put the numbers of all California law enforcement on the backs of uh, their fives. Call them up. Find out if they are part of uh, an attempt to overthrow our government. 424-229-4140. Put them on speakerphone. You try to call me. See if they're part of that cowardly Hussein placing. And no, I'm not a fan of the buffoon Trump. The Oriental Russian guy. Make that video of America's Hijack Lifelines 24-7. They don't mind disturbing me at my home. So you disturb them at their home. Find out which of our finest are traitors. They don't know what a 9-11 Flight 93 check is. They're a traitor. They do? Well, put them on the good list. And get the numbers of others who aren't. Simplify, aim high, fly, fly, win this, we will defend. Tell them you can ATMT the phone records all you want. America is hanging that dirty laundry, jeopardizing our security, and all cops with them. Defend America by making a video of America's hijack lifelines right now. Here's another comic goal. Michael Moore, LAPD Shriek. And disrespect. Last night. Call them up. They're threatening your security in your state. Get them on video doing that. What do you know about John Milton Brady? What a whole lot of folks in Eagle Rock have on video in his apartment as you're conducting terrorism against him, Michael Moore. What do you know about that? Let me show you. You try to call me with him on speakerphone. You get the traitor's reaction. You get someone new in the shoes who is not a traitor. This hatred, lower his backup noise, tell everyone to 9-11, flight 93, check and post 5 with all at and employees, and yes, all generals and colonels of the military. Make the video, you got the time on your phone, the date, you got the number dialed, you got at and reaction, all employees, the lower level ones will tell you what the upper level ones are doing.
compromise our security besides alter and phone records to cover up their crimes of hijacking calls to begin with. Your AT&T's hatred commercial in a parking lot near you or on TV. It's supposed to be in the basketball game to walk. At least it was in the last round. You call up all generals, you call up all colonels. Now they don't know about 93 check. Me asking for America to check their lifelines for over a decade without getting one 93 check call. Yeah, they're involved or they're incompetent. We need new folks in their boots and the suits. Form that Mormon Muslim call list as well to protect America. When they're being as bold as to place a cowardly Hussein in our White House right after we got attacked by a whole lot of cowardly Hussein. Cowardly Hussein's with 9 11. Yeah, that's the best reason to form that call watch Mormon Muslim list as well. Till you see someone besides me, after you see someone besides me in my imagery, that's that Mormon Muslim hatred forming that Great Wall of China around me. You can find documentaries after documentaries of the hatred of that impersonator industry, which both of those are incredibly active parts of. Come see me. Have Will, Will Travis show me the perfect place to build Jesus as an excellent house. Best people in the world to build that house with. Yeah, I'm growing a new pair of eyes doing a little genetic carpentry as the son of Carpenter Mary, Daddy Carpenter worked on skyscraper with Mom Marianne. To build. Growing that whole new body to build Jesus as a Maclet house. Semper Fi, aim high, fly, fight, win. This we will defend, defend America. By forming and uh, being a part of the Military People Project, watch call lists of Mormons and Muslims. Here's Simon. Make a video of your hijack call to me. 424-229-4140. Put the date, the date, and the time. And yes, call up all AT&T employees. Put them on speakerphone. All generals as well. And try to call me with them on speakerphone. Tell them. They can alt alter all the phone records they want. They can AT&T the phone records. America and you have phone gate. AT&T's phone gate on video. Heard a truck pulling up, but I don't think it's going to back up. They maybe they turned it off. That's nice of them. Yeah, it's a closed parking lot. AT and T shows me that hatred 24/7. So park those fleets of noisemakers you have outside of AT and T employees' home. Sounds mean. Man, they got a whole fleet parked outside of mine. It's a closed parking lot. They shouldn't have that noisemaker on at all. So uh, turn that noisemaker on and call them 24 7. Try to call me. Tell them you can get ATT those phone records. We got phone gate on video. Oh, a decade. It's not just Hussein's phone gate, it's uh, Trump's phone gate as well. And yeah, long after Trump's gone. Uh, AT&T. 911 flight 93, check in, post in 5. It's AT&T's phone game. It's the Mormon cults. The Muslim cults. Phone game. Get it on video. Remember to send me those lifelines. Anything that's got a GPS on it, because if it has my address on it, they're going to steal it. Those with their hands bloody, Hijack America's lifelines are going to steal whatever you send me with my address on it. So certified mail, make a video at first, use FedEx. Make a video at first, use UPS. Make a video of it first, and yes, uh, use those. Use those. 
GPS uh, things. I, I don't know what I'm talking about with that, but uh, use those GPS things to locate America's stolen mail warehouses. Do the Geraldo thing. He's not doing his job. Do it for him. Here, AT&T's commercial. Oh, I'm joining these videos here. These are all the ones I... Uh, oh, that's not it. All the ones I made about the generals on the way next. I'm one man working alone. Get me my disciples. And here's the image I'm working on. Not one 93 check call in over a decade of asking no certified mail, no non certified mail. About the 93 checks, no FedEx, no UPS. Biggest disinformation campaign among traitors within the military, federal government, state, local government. That's the best reason you not read to me right now with your family's lifeline. Best reason to be part of the military pit bull project. That's what I'm working on. And to call every Mormon, every Muslim in America, especially the Saudi Arabians and the Utahians, and try to call me with them I speak from. The watch call list. You'll find those who raise the most, like the devil Lori, person I've been back, Lori and Brady Bond. They have the most to hide. You know, Lori can reach me by phone, taunted by breaking that computer in there connected to the internet, trying to break this one today. I take toys run wild and tell me everything I need to know about what to design next. What parable videos to make next, telling America. 2911 flight 93, check and post in five. One of the uh, earlier efforts in my decade of uh, 93 checks. He, uh, Donald Oriental, a Russian guy. That's a reason it is. And it should have been Hussein. Nobody knows. But I figured nobody knows who Hussein is. The news media is not allowed to talk about the cowardly Hussein placed in the White House right after we got attacked by a whole lot of cowardly Hussein, so I put Barack. 